The direction of the vector, okay, is the angle that the vector makes with the horizontal. So you can see here, this is our angle, and we'll denote it by the Greek letter theta. So it's the angle with the horizontal. So you can see we have a right triangle here, and you can see that the vertical component, okay, that's the, the y component of the vector, the horizontal component, okay, that's the x component of the vector. You can see we have a triangle that's formed here, a right triangle. So just like we learned in trigonometry, opposite over adjacent is tangent. So what we can do here is write the tangent of theta equals the opposite over the adjacent, which in this case is the y component of the vector over the x component of the vector. And then to solve for theta, all we have to do is take the tangent inverse of both sides, so tan inverse of y over x, and that's going to give us the angle of our vector. So in this case, you would have theta equals tan inverse of opposite over adjacent, 4 over 3, and put that in your calculator, and that's going to be your angle of your vector. So very easy. Just um, If you get a little bit confused by this, just go ahead and make a triangle, and you'll be able to see the sides of the triangle, the angle here, the right angle, and just use your uh, sine, cosine, and tangent. But if you want a formula, just think of the angle as the tangent inverse of the y component of the vector divided by the x component of the vector. So I'll see you in the next video.